Hi, my name's Jonathan Hicks. I'm back at the Dice Cup, and this evening I'm joined by... Rob, Steve, Mark. And we've just finished playing Fuse. Now, this is a real-time cooperative game, and it plays in 10 minutes, exactly 10 minutes, because you use an app with a countdown uh, timer for 10 minutes, and this lady that sort of um, <laughs> encourages you to get on with it. But you're trying to defuse a bomb, and the way it works is each of you have got two cards which kind of represent things, components that need to be defused, uh, and there's a selection of things in the middle as well. And uh, Mark, let's say, rolls five dice from the bag, and then every player, if there's five players, has to take one of these dice. So I, in order to do this bomb, I have to get the matching numbers to put onto these. So maybe for this round, I could take, uh, look, there's a five here. So I would say, oh, I need the five, I need the five. And everyone else is calling out, oh, no, I need the six. And no, I need the five as well, or whatever it is. Um, so you take the dice and you put it on and everyone else takes one, one as well. Then you pass the bag round and then roll the dice again. And you carry on going, trying to fill out these cards. Uh, so the cards need different things. So this needs, obviously, red, two, black, and six. Some of them require you to stack things. So we've got a nice stacking example. Here's one which stacks it. So here on this pile, you'd have to stack a three first, then a green, and then you could choose either to stack a yellow or a one on top of it. So they have different difficulties. The number at the top right tells you how difficult it is to get all the dice placed. Uh, and when you've completed a bomb, you sort of put it in a victory pile, and then you take a new one from the middle, and then the one in the middle is replaced with one from the deck, and the objective is to basically get through the entire deck. However, if you draw a... there were some bad ones, these cards here, that means everyone has to lose a blue dice. So if I had any blues dice on here, I'd have to put them back in a bag, and uh, that obviously makes it harder to complete the game. Uh, you just keep going until you get through the deck. If you manage it before the time runs out, you win. What do we think? I think it's a really fun game, it's really tense, it's very, um, you're on the edge of your seat, especially with the woman chap yapping in your ear the whole time, telling you what to do. I thought I really liked it, but um, the app saved your high score, and I realised that last time I played it was January 2016, so it's like, what, 16 months ago? Um, so I thought I liked it more than that, but yeah, it's, just, I, it's just a game that I really like. Okay, Steve? I like it, it is a fast space, doing everything, everything's manic, even if you're not the one rolling a dice, you're desperately wishing, please be a blue dice, please be a blue, please be a two. There are a few penalties, so if no one can take a particular dice in the middle, so let's say the red one was left, uh, then everyone, if they have a red or a one on their uh, problems they're trying to defuse, they have to lose them. So it's really important, not necessarily to get the dice you want, but to not leave any left over. Um, it's a bit like Escape from the Temple to me, in, uh, just Escape I think it's called, where you roll your dice, you roll your dice. But it's much more cooperative, you are massively dependent on what other people are doing, because if one person isn't playing very well or is getting really bad cards or not picking the dice right, they're going to impact on you losing things. It's completely cooperative as well, which I really like. Um, and it only lasts 10 minutes. Mark? Yeah, I pretty much agree. I really enjoy it too. Uh, I think it re works really well. It is. It's a, it's a nice small package. I think you can play with anybody because it's a really simple game to teach, as the explanation goes. Uh, you can like, it's a good travel game because you can just take it on with you, play it on at any sort of table, unlike Escape, which has some sort of setup. And it's, uh, yeah, the extra, as Steve said, the extra cooperativeness and the fact that you need to be aware of what other people are doing and stuff. Well, Escape, you can some sort of go off in your own sort of world, adds more to it. So I think it's a nicer, complete package. Rating out of 10? I think it's going to be a standard 7. <laughs> okay, see. A 7.5. Just a flat 7. Okay, uh, I do like this one. It's just really stressful. <laughs> you see, they're kind of going, ah, oh, oh, what's going on? No, I need this. No, oh, I've lost my dice. Ah. Oh. Um, the cooperative nature I really like, the way you have to depend on each other, you're calling out what you want and you really need to pay attention to what other people need and not take the dice that they need. So I do like that a lot. Um, I'd rate it higher if I didn't find it quite so stressful, but um, I'd be on a 7 out of 10 as well. Alright, thanks for watching, that was Fuse.